Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. And this video is gonna be how to make an open and close GUI. So first what you're gonna wanna do is in starter GUI, you're gonna wanna add a screen GUI. And then inside, in, okay, so name that GUI like whatever you want. So if you're, it's like a game pass shop, I would just make mine shop GUI. And then inside that GUI, you want to add a frame. So let's go to, come on, frame. Okay, so your frame should pop up up here in the top left. You're going to want to rescale it however you like. And then center it, do everything. You can make, you can like design it how you want. So I'm actually going to do mine real quick. I'm going to just... Make the color like a bluish color. And then we're going to make the back layer a darker blue. So there we go. Um, let's go ahead and actually remove this border size pixel. So it doesn't show a border. So now that we got that. Um, we can just leave that there. And in the thing you can add a text label. And then just name it like or transparency, background transparency, pen, uh, background transparency, transparency one, and then the text we can make it just say shop, and then the um, text color can be a white, and then the text stroke transparency, put that to zero, puts a nice outline on it. And then we can have a font. I just always use Gotham Black. And then we can do text scaled on. So now we that now we have that. We can add a text button. We can put this up in the top top right. And then um, I would make the Zendex five. And roundify it size 12 so that makes it look like this and let's make this a little bigger there we go um text we can make that say x text scaled text color black or red it doesn't really matter i'm going to make it red and text stroke Transparency is zero, so it makes a nice black outline. And we can either remove the background, or, uh, so we can do that. Okay, so actually I cannot do that right now because, yeah. Oh crap, I need a zero. So, um, the round of five went away. So let me redo this real quick. So do not do that. If you're going to want to make the background transparent, don't add the roundify. And then we're going to want to make this image color probably like a, to match the frame. And so now that it looks like this, we can copy all this. And then we can center it that doesn't really look center we can close this and now what we want to do is add a another text button and this is going to be what opens it so we want to make this index oops we want to make this index five and then roundify it that way it looks nice and then we want the text to be like shop or whatever text color white or no mm, maybe like what color looks good maybe like an orange yeah okay that looks fine and then we oh crap i keep doing that come on and then we can do text scaled text font um hmm
Can we not do that? Text. Or no. It's just font. I'm stupid. I am so stupid. Okay. And then text stroke transparency. Zero. So now we have a nice looking open button. We can change the image color to like a blue. Because I like blue. It, it doesn't really look good with the orange, but yeah. And then we can put that right there. And then in the text button, you want okay, um, you want to add a local script. And then in the local script, we can say script.parent.mouse button one click colon connect function. And then the two brackets at the end. And then script.parent.parent.visible equals false so what that does is that makes the um frame disappear like that so we need to actually put this text label inside the frame as well and then if we also want to we don't have to but we can like you know make it look like it's interlapped, you know? So put just put these in the frame. I think they already are. Yep, they are. And now on the text button, this is... We need to add a local script as well. So this is the frame. Come on, what? Alright, whatever. But, okay, so in this button right here, we need to add a local script. And then in the local, okay, so let's name this frame to, like, shop. And then in the frame, we need to say local frame equals script dot parent dot parent dot shop. So the name of your UI goes here, or the name of, like, your frame, your shop frame goes here. And then you want to go down and then say local open equals false. And then you want to go down two lines and say script.parent.mouse button one click colon connect function and then add that. And then we can add also, it doesn't matter, but just to make mine look clean, I just do that and say if frame dot visible equals equals false then frame dot visible equals true and then say else frame dot visible equals false okay so that should be the end of the script now what we want to do is we can make this non-visible and we can go test this so what you want to do is go into the game and then click on the shop and it should pop up and then you can close it again and you can just keep doing it and you can also put all your game passes in here and then I'll show you guys how to do that later and then later like in the next video. And so yeah, if you guys did enjoy this one, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. So yeah, um, I'm going to go now and peace out.